I'm a scratch golfer, but probably not anymore because I haven't played a full round of 18 holes in about three months. So I'm back on the course, back on the grind. I want to take you guys through the journey, grinding back to scratch. Every round that I go out and play, I'm going to film, document every single shot, post it here for you guys to see my journey That's to become amazing. a scratch golfer again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video in this series of me out in the course grinding back to scratch. It helps me out a lot. So the first hole out here at the Scarlet Course at the Ohio State University Golf Club is not an easy one to get started off with, but I chunked it out of the bunker, had this left for my par, and barely missed it on the low side, starting off with a bogue. Hole two out here just does not fit my eye. It's a long par four, very narrow. Luckily, I hook it left and it hits off the range net, so I'm back in the rough, have a shot at the green. About, I would say 150 yards and I pull this thing. It actually ends up in the left bunker just short of the green. A big thing about this course is you can't miss it in the wrong spots and this is just the wrong spot on this hole. It's feeding away from me. I have no chance of stopping this. Have a par putt nonetheless and I just underread it. It breaks a little more than I think. It's happened for Bogue. We're plus two through two and yeah, we're gonna struggle out here today guys. It's not an easy day. Hole three is not a very long par four. I took a four iron off the tee. I just want to get something in play after the first two holes. I have about 185 yards left. I pull this thing a little bit left. It's going to actually get over the left bunker in the rough. Have this left for my birdie chip and I just kind of slap this thing. And not very happy about that. Not very comfortable over the ball today. And I'm hitting good putts, but not on the right line. Once again, under read it, tapping for my bogue. So like I said, I used to be a scratch golfer not too long ago, so I know I had the skills necessary to play some good golf, but off the tee here, cannot control the slice. I'm in the right rough, luckily far enough right where I can take it over the trees and go for the green in two. Unfortunately for me though, this green is so narrow, you can't hold it. So I took a big bounce and left myself in an impossible spot over the green and I dump it into the bunker short. Again, can't miss in the wrong spots on this course. So I kind of just flop it out of this bunker, lucky to stay on the green nice. here. Again, I have about a 10 footer for my par and that's gonna be a common theme today. A lot of 10 footers for par and yeah, this one didn't drop. So a bogey on a par five, not very good. I'm trying to treat every hole on its own. So I'm putting that behind me. We had a par three here playing about 215 and I leave this thing out to the right. Looking back, I think I'm aiming everything to the right. So we're gonna miss a lot to the right today. I hit an okay flop shot over this bunker, but it honestly comes up short and just off the green. The greens on the Scarlet course today are running quick, even uphill got a left to right breaker and I just didn't leave it in the right spot again, above the hole, tricky downhill slider and lip out. So now I'm looking double right in the face. Luckily, I kind of get this thing rolling up the hill, a good putt, make it for my five. In my opinion, the first five holes out here are some of the hardest. So we're getting onto an easier stretch, got a par five up the hill. I'm able to control the fade a little bit more here and I hit a good one that ends up in the right side of the fairway, kind of cuts the corner. Got about 265 left, hit my two iron, absolutely smoked it here on a rope, was really happy about that. Ended up in the front bunker, not gonna leave myself an easy bunker shot. This is like a 60 yard bunker shot. So I have my 56 degree and I just catch a little too much sand, it ends up short. Nonetheless though, we have a putt for a bird. I'm just trying to get this thing up there and tapping for a par, get a par on the card and I hit a really nice lag putt here. End up tapping in for a par on a par five. We're moving on to the next, head forward, not looking back. Hole seven's not too bad of a hole. It's pretty short, but my driver, again, like I was saying, feels like a foreign object in my hands. I hit this thing left and just ends up left of the bunker. Didn't go very far at all. Kind of got away with one off the tee, 117 yards left, hit my 56 degree, jumped on me out of the rough a little bit. So it's gonna leave a tough chip just long of the green. Chipping with my 60 degree here, cause it's kind of sitting down and yeah, I duff it again. My short game, when you haven't played golf in a while, the short game struggles, those feel shots are tough. Another like eight footer for par and we drain it. So that's a good par here, two pars in a row, par three now. Holy, it's a tough par three over the water. Intimidating shot, 185, hit my seven iron, just kind of flared it out to the right a little bit. Again, not the spot to miss because the green's feeding away. There's absolutely nothing I can do to stop this ball. I hit a great shot here. That's as close as I could have gotten it from there. What do you say, another 10 footer looking for a par. I hit this right on my line. It just doesn't quite break for me as much as I think. So I tap him for my boat. I want you guys to see that golf is hard for everyone. Even though I was a scratch a few months ago, I can come out to the course and not play very well. So we're on hole nine, got driver, yanked this thing really far left, almost in the tee box on the next hole. 
Again, I missed so far left that I have a clear shot at the green, 130, hit my 52 degree, it just kind of squirreled a little right on me, end up in a bunker, which is a really tough spot with this hole. Can't miss right because it's sloping away from me once again, but I hit a really nice shot out of this bunker. Probably my best bunker shot of the day. I really want to show you guys some honest golf out here. Me grinding back to become a scratch golfer and I missed this one. So that's a bogey, plus eight, 44 on the front nine. Not my best showing, but stay tuned for the back and I'll see you guys in the next one.